somebody got a new logo. Eddie Bauer, mm. the famous, you know, outdoor apparel company yep. Yep. that was like founded in like 1920 has updated their logo. And apparently the outgoing logo is like 60 years old. So what's going on is they've hired a new CEO. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. And this is when shit starts happening. Right. And the new CEO has got a lot of brand plans right. okay now this isn't just a normal ceo in all fairness this ceo has extensive outdoor experience the oh. dude worked with patagonia he worked with north face with Ooh. black diamond so in all fairness the guy kind of has a little bit of expertise in this space <laughs> so weird. i do tip my hat to at least that because he says he wanted something that was instantly recognizable and would resonate with people 50 years from now mm -hmm. this is a 60 year logo yes. so that, well, this is the thing that and resonates it resonates well it resonates pretty fucking well that's a, that's a great logo. um you know unfortunately he also felt that the script was very difficult to read you know a script logo is very hard to turn into an icon yeah, I think Coca-Cola did it. Uh, Disney. Disney. I think a lot of companies with script fonts have kind of made it very iconic, yes. right? And last but not least, mm -hmm. his reasoning, one of the other reasons is kids aren't learning oh, no. cursive not in school. Again. We're hearing this serious? shit again. <laughs> He's blaming Gen Z again. Kids don't even learn it in school anymore, so how is it recognizable? However, I don't think you have to be, you know, learn cursive to know. Coca-Cola logo is the Coca-Cola logo. Exactly. Eddie Bauer is the Eddie Bauer logo. So, so again, I'm not sure I'm digging a lot of these excuses, 100%. It almost, okay? sounds, yeah, it almost sounds like, hey, you know what? We could use that as an excuse. Now, granted, the old logo isn't great, the outgoing one, right? It's we recognize it. Yeah, I think that's the that's the key. It's extremely it may not recognizable. Be great, but it's been around for long enough to know that you know that that's that you know that that's Eddie Bauer, yes, right? Yes. And I mean, again, but the one thing you have to admit that this does is it does ensue trust, mm -hmm. credibility. Yeah, it looks like an old brand. Yeah, right. And again, I've seen this on the side of Ford trucks. Remember, they had the Eddie Bauer edition. Yeah, We've seen this everywhere, right. and it seems to work across the board. Yeah, so and it's unique. Well, it is right? absolutely it, unique. Because it's probably somebody's signature. Because <laughs> it's probably some, or at least the look or like that person's like, signature, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. So this is the new logo. So out with the old and in with the new. Okay? Oh. So at first, you cringe, Ooh. right? You cringe because you got that whole, you know, oh my God, are it's, they doing the blending thing? Yeah. They're going from script to a big bold font yeah. but then they've kind of got a little goose in here a little iconic goose um got a little bit of that rembrandt shadowing going with a little triangle yeah. light on one side or another right and at first glance i'm not sure how i felt about it it wasn't a bad logo Okay, I do like the. I, I think that the position of the goose is perfect, and oh, it yeah. fills up the space nice. You know, between the the E and the R. So at first, you know, again, I'm not sure how I felt about this hmm. at first, right? Because again, I started picking things apart here and there. Yeah. But then I started learning a little bit more about this, right? That there was quite a little bit of you know um, intention here. Mm -hmm. Okay, the goose. Okay, as simplistic, you know, maybe not, you know, the, the most creative execution of the goose. You know, there's heritage behind that with this brand. Because mm -hmm. believe it or not, in 1936, Eddie Bauer was the first to patent a down jacket with goose feathers, oh. right? So th this was something there's that was the... a little, right? So, so there's the heritage part. Right. And then going back to his original statement saying that, you know, it's hard to turn a word mark into an icon. Mm -hmm. Well, he's thinking that, you know, the goose could be an icon for the brand. Totally. And you know what? One thing I've learned being Canadian, yeah. you don't fuck with geese, okay? They will fuck they you are, up. They are mean they bastards. Are mean. So, you know, this brand all of a sudden just became like tougher. Yes. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's like, don't fuck with any power. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, going to the font, you know, they yes. wanted something that was um, approachable. For extreme people, enthusiasts, mm -hmm. guys who are, you know, going, you know, hitting it to the limit, but also just people who enjoy the outdoors, yes. right? Yes. They, so they wanted to pick something that was kind of somewhere in the middle that would appeal to both sides, mm. right? Which I do think this achieves. Yes. Right? Totally. It's, totally. it's easy. It's easy to read. It's really light. You know, this is a really nice layout. You know, you get deeper. And I, I mean, I love oh, their stacked version. Oh, that's right? awesome. So while I'm not a big fan of... 
as much of the, the you know the wide the horizontal oh, view that, that, that stacked that right there, version is that beautiful is gorgeous. as a label and you know so there's a lot to be said about this i um, love the est 1920 style right That's absolutely with, the, with the inside of that goose or either side of the goose you know and what's beautiful. funny is that they're giving it this this heritage this you know established look without actually getting any of that curly fonts like we often right. see or sometimes you'll see the est in a little bit of a script or yeah. this or that yeah. but hey apparently gen c can't see the script so <laughs> I think that's why everybody's going this way. <laughs> that's really nice. It is. I do like, I like the stacked version a lot more. Oh, and, you know, you can see it on the storefront. Yeah. It looks pretty good. So there's something to be said. There's also something really clever about the font, mm -hmm. right? And and as, as you pointed out earlier, it's not just a regular typed block font, is right. it? Yes. No, it's not. What they've done is they've actually made it uneven and, and pulled out like this. You won't see it as much, right? Mm -hmm. You won't notice it. But when you zoom in, the edges of all the letters have got slight little bends and curves mm -hmm. to them to give it a little bit more of a hand-drawn natural element. Yeah. I do appreciate... Yeah. You know the, the the little roughness of the, the of the letters, imperfections, the kind imperfections. of lending to what it used to be, like right, yeah, like a little very, bit, right? Like I mean, it'll never replace the you, script you font. Yeah. It won't. And I really wish I would have loved to have seen a little bit of the script in this one, whether it was in just the EST or the outdoor outfitters part. Mm. You know, like something I would have loved as a nod back to heritage because I'm a big fan. You know, that's yeah. you know we move forward, right? Are, are we moving forward with this or is this something completely? You like, I mean, this is a completely brand new logo. Totally, yeah. Right? Like, there's totally. like nothing from the old into the new. It's going to take a little while to and own this look. Yes. Right? Yes. Because, again, there's nothing unique about the goose. Yeah. Right? It nope. does just look like a simplified, you know, a, a clip art type of goose. Yeah. Um, and that fun, if it wasn't for the little bit of hand-drawn roughness, it would just be a regular. This could have almost fallen victim of blanding. Yeah. Totally, you know? Totally. Could have. But it's like they went that extra step. Yes. They did something intentional with yes. the letters, and then they did add an icon to it. You know, even that shape, like, around the little mark behind his head there. You know, the the goose, how he's got the little white behind the head? It just, it, it, it looks off. It yeah. looks like it's too thin, the lines there, compared to the thick lines everywhere else. Like, it yeah. almost looks like it could be polished a little further. Just a little bit more. Yeah. But, you know, seeing the execution in all the other places, I'm buying it. I, yeah. I, I think I could go with I this. Could I could that. get behind yeah. this. It's, it's not as good as the, the original do you think or no? right now it's not yeah um do i think that it could be as iconic uh, yeah. you know unfortunately Maybe. i don't know if it'll ever you know replace that that nice feeling that we would get with the script yeah. to be honest and yeah. i don't think i'll ever get that genuine true heritage feeling feeling yeah. from this like i did from the script right. but do i think that they've elevated their brand to another level yeah, and maybe this yeah. is the new direction of the brand, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm still a fan of the old, Yeah, but I can appreciate the new. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's Going to our five points, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Simple, minimal, iconic, relevant, and timeless. Yep. Is it simple? It is. Well, it's a pretty simple font, right? I don't think that there's too much of a story here. They've added the goose mm -hmm. with the 1920. I mean, that's a little bit of a, it's it's a little bit of a depth and and it wasn't that obvious. I had to dig a little deeper mm. to find out about that. Is it minimal? Mm. Well, I mean, there's no drop shadows. There's there's nothing to it. The font has got a little bit of that roll to it. Yep. I don't think it can get much more minimal than what it is. I don't think so. Right? Um is it iconic? I, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, again, could could the goose become the next face of Eddie Bauer? Could could the goose be the next Eddie? Well, I don't know. Like, it's a little tricky. Yeah. Is it relevant? Is it relevant to their space? Is it relevant to their products? Yes. You know, I think it. I think it kind of goes in line with everything else. When you see the execution on some of the jackets and such, you know, do I mm -hmm. feel like there, there, it, it has a little bit more of a North Face feel to it than yeah. what it had. It does. It does. Yeah. For better, for worse, it does. I think it now kind of follows suit with that a little bit more. It mm -hmm. follows suit with a little bit more like Patagonia. Yeah. Again, whether that's good or bad, I don't know. Eddie Bauer, the brand used to stand because it was script. It was different. Yes. Right. It, does it feel like it's a little bit more, you know, within that that whole look and feel? Yeah, it yeah. does. Yeah. But again, I don't know if that's a good thing. Yeah. And then, of course, last but not least, is it timeless? 
my feeling on could this be timeless, mm -hmm. I feel that their choice of a big, bold, chunky font is going to go out because I do feel that that the the big fat chunky font which I love. Yep, yeah, yeah. I do. I do my big fan of this. I do feel that that is just something that's going to be passing within the next 15 20 years wow, max. Okay. And their outgoing logo has got like 50 60 years behind it. Yeah, so, so so unfortunately, I don't think that this is nearly as timeless as what the outgoing logo is. Hmm. So unfortunately, they're not. Yeah, right? Okay, yeah. So interesting. We'll see how that plays out in the next yeah. 20 years. Yes. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> so in your opinion, Sean, is this dope or no? Uh, wow. Like I've never been more torn in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a denope. <laughs> it's a denope? <laughs> It's nope, and it's a dope too. I I don't know. It's w is it better than the original? I don't think so. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I think you're right now. Since you put that with the with the block letters being very hip, you know, it, yes, I think it's. You it, know, I, I, in my opinion, I like it. Yeah, I do like it. I like. I would like it more if it was a brand new brand. If it was something yes. that I would say, yeah, you know yes. what? I like that lockup. I think it's good. But if you're telling me, you know, is this better than this? Right. I'm going to have to say it's a nope. Yeah. I do feel that the old logo um, hits their mark more. It's more heritage. That's yeah. one of the big things they play on. I think they should have included more elements of the script, you know, of the past into their future logo. So to me, yeah. It's a nope. It's, it's a, a nope. regretful nope because yeah. I like the lockup. I do. I just don't think that it was for this brand. You're and, absolutely and, and right. I think that's You're it. absolutely right. If that was a brand new brand, yeah. I'd be all for that. But because of Eddie Bauer, yeah, I, I don't. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's a it's a very, very soft nope. Yeah. Yeah. It's me. a soft nope. A little sad, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it a dope or is it a nope? <laughs> Peace. <laughs>